Science. Is time running out for the tiger? Since 1900, the wild tiger population has declined by 97%, according to conservationists. The exact number of tigers remaining in the wild today is not an exact science, but figures in 2010 reached a paltry 3,200. The depressing fact is that the tiger is one of the most endangered species on the planet. The exact number of living wild tigers is up for debate. One, this number was got out in 2010, so things could have changed in four years, let's say. Second, we don't know if the 3,200 that we talked about in 2010 might have been the actual number. Whether it was more or less, we don't know. It could be less, it could be more, because several governments, several organizations have put in a lot of efforts to increase tiger numbers. That was one of the uh, mandates to double the number of tigers by the next year of the tiger in 2022. But unless we measure, you know, every few years periodically, we'll never know whether we're getting there or not. India is now making use of the latest technology to estimate tiger numbers. Camera traps observe tigers in the wild. The cameras are installed on trees and along tiger tracks. Equipped with sensors, the trap captures photos and video once a tiger appears. Since each tiger has a unique stripe pattern, environmentalists can then estimate the tiger population of the region. Conservationists are now insisting concrete efforts are made to obtain accurate tiger numbers by 2016. Images of the tiger pervade our everyday lives in advertising, cartoons, wildlife documentaries and children's toys. But it's in the wild where this beautiful animal really counts.